Hello there, welcome to Node University Short Lectures. My name is Azad Marden. I am the lead instructor and creator of Node University, which is the most premier online school for software engineers who want to master and learn full stack JavaScript. In this short lecture, I want to give you a comparison. Comparison between main ways how you can write asynchronous code. In JavaScript and especially in Node.js, there are a lot of asynchronous calls everywhere. You make a call to the database, you need to wait, so you make a callback. So callback, callbacks are natively supported, they are very natural. It takes a little bit of time to understand callbacks. So some people might have problem just mentally trying to read those callbacks and understand them. So don't be that person truly understand callbacks, they are great. What about promises? Promises, they are coming from front-end development, where in front-end you mostly make Ajax, no one calls them Ajax anymore, it's XHR, so you make those, you make those requests to the server, you need to handle errors, you need to massage the data, get the JSON back, so fetch API, Axios, they all use promises, Promises are okay, but for me personally, you uh, they look like you write more code than actually you get the benefit. So I'm not a huge fan of promises, but if you know them, if you already have libraries that you like, go ahead and use promises. Then the next pattern is to use generators. The generators allow you to basically do the same thing that the promises do, but with a different syntax. The syntax? It doesn't use then, T-H-E-N, it uses asterisks, which is kind of weird. So I very rarely see projects that use generators, but there are some libraries like Kova, for example, which is built on top of Express only with generators. But guess, guess what? Kova switched to async await. So async await is the newest, the best way to write asynchronous code. With the async await, you create async function, and then you can say await in that function. And that's it, it works. It works magically, and you will get the data, let's say variables, and then you're making a request. So it's gonna be async function, and inside you would say await data equals axios.get, for example. And you might, know that Axios is the promise library, but guess what? Async await functions and promises, they are interchangeable. So that's even better because a lot of libraries already supports promises and you can use them with async await, which is way, way nicer syntax. You don't have to use then, which another name is the, the trunk, so you don't have to use T-H-E-N. So my take on it, use straight up callbacks or async await functions. Don't bother with promises unless you are a front end developer. In this case, you might already be familiar and comfortable with promises and generators. You can safely skip them. And don't forget about events. Events, they're super powerful. They're great. None of these patterns will truly replace e events. So you can watch the previous episode, listen to the previous episode to learn about events or take my course, Node Patterns at node.university. That's it for this short lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment and a review and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.